Hey everyone, Seb here from AutoWorld and here we are at the soon to be new home of Isuzu in Pomona. And in front of this really cool backdrop, we've got the brand new 7th gen 3 litre and 1.9 litre D-Max. This is the new 3 litre double cab D-Max LSE, which is one of the highest spec options that we have. It offers features such as leather interior, push button start, dual zone climate control, by LED daytime run lights, front and rear park sensors, and the list goes on. Not to mention the new three liter engine produces 140 kilowatts of power and a whopping 450 Newton meters of torque. Here we have the extended cab in the LS spec. So LS is our mid spec. It comes with fabric seats, seven inch infotainment system, cruise control, rear park sensors, alloy rims most importantly it's introducing the new 1.9 liter engine that's 110 kilowatts of power 350 newton meters of torque which is considerably more than the outgoing 2.5 engine which has been famous and a legacy engine for isuzu so really exciting to have this new engine we're going to show you through as we take it on the road tests all that's left to do now is to take these cars for a drive should we go for a spin Yes, sir. The cockpits in these 7th gens is incredibly well thought out and constructed. They're very comfortable and being an average sized guy, I'm not having to flare too much to have my elbows on the center console or the door handle. And when driving, if I want to have free elbows, it's very easy. Nothing's too far away. The best thing is your storage compartments. So you've got a drinks holder here and it's easy. You can pop it in, pop it out without really having to move too much. There's a nice coin box under here that's also big enough to hold keys or things that are more valuable and want to be concealed. The biggest improvement for me is the central storage compartment and it's nice and easy. It's right next to your hazard lights and it's a single pop and it goes up. The sixth gens, those of you that used to drive them, you would remember you had to kind of push and tap in Morse code like you're sending your grandmother's cook sister recipe and even then it didn't normally open every time so a huge improvement they've just refined everything beautifully this 1.9 motor is a little bit controversial so southern africa it's it's quite new it's just been in the market for slightly over a year but worldwide it's been in the market since about 2016 so it's had its trials and tribulations thrown at it and it's passed and cleared every test they could do on it the biggest thing however is just kind of breaking the the norms and the perspective that 1.9 being a much smaller number means that everything about the engine must be less than its predecessor at 2.5 or alternatives at 2.4 and it's just not the case it's so well refined they really have gone to the drawing board and done their homework it's it's quiet it's smooth when you're just cruising along freeways but there is no shortage of power should you put your foot down being smaller of course your low end torque you know it's not really there it's very reliant on being in the turbo rev range but this turbo comes in quite early it's definitely sub 2000 rpm so with a clever gearbox which the six-speed gearbox is you don't really feel like you're ever out of the power band completely you know when you climb into the three liter particularly this new one you know you're getting in with a big beast and you kind of understand that you're not going to tame this thing completely so approach it with caution the 1.9 there is in the back of your mind you think it's a smaller engine you know i could probably try my luck push it swing it around but to me it's kind of like adopting a snow leopard cup it's very cute you, know, you hear 1.9 you think it's small and it's quiet and yeah it's quite tame when i'm cruising everything's very gentle i'm not getting thrown around but you put your foot down and it just goes for the jugular straight away it's amazing no it really is that power band up top you feel all 350 newton meter kick in and it just pulls you through that rev range it's incredible what they've done with it Right, here we are in the 3 litre LSE double cap and the first thing
thing you notice when you set off in this car is just how comfortable it is to sit in this driver's seat. I'm on, I'm on quite a bumpy road and it's still very comfortable for a double cab. And these, the seventh gen D-Max, the interior is just so much more refined, so much more user friendly compared to the, the sixth generation. Now don't get me wrong, the 6th gen D-Max was a very comfortable car to drive, the interior was still very nice, but this... Isuzu have really upped their game with this car. I'm sitting on a comfortable leather seat, very cushioned, it's got lumbar support as well, for those of you who need it. The steering wheel is coated in a lovely smooth leather got piano black trim around the gear lever and around the infotainment system it's very nice Isuzu have really upped their game when it comes to safety as well this particular car the LSE model has airbags everywhere front airbags rear airbags side curtain airbags so you're quite safe in the event of an accident. We've also got blind spot monitoring, which is an available accessory or feature in the LSE model. Basically what that means is that when you go to change lanes and you put your indicator on, if there's a vehicle just behind you to whichever side that you're changing lanes to, there'll be a, a little flashing light in the corner of the wing mirror to let you know that there is another vehicle there. And it's just enough to grab your attention and make you think twice before changing lanes. The ride in these new 7th gens is noticeably comfortable and incredibly quiet. So here we are, we're in a fairly urban area. You know, there's a shopping center, there's a couple of traffic lights. The roads have quite a few pothole patches and potholes themselves. So the road's a bit bumpy, but you don't hear any rattling, any squeaking, nothing moving around too much. I'm very aware of what's around me in the sense that I can I can hear cars coming past, you know, I can I can hear people shouting, but it's a very comfortable sense of quiet. I'm not hearing absolutely everything. There's there's no wind noise in these cabins at all. It's incredible. The suspension absorbs a lot of these little rivets and holes and bumps in the road. So you don't get a lot of that feedback. You can see them, but you don't necessarily feel them. And when it goes over humps, you know, as long as you're not pushing it too hard, it's a single rebound and it's soft on the other side and it's very smooth and comfortable. I mean, this, this road really is not the greatest and, and yeah, we're handling it absolutely fine. Right, so we're going into the circle here. It's quite a hard left to enter and then obviously quite a big right to go around. And out we go. And I promise you, if you had asked me, I wouldn't say the car tipped much at all. I mean, it's incredible how this thing corners. You can put it around like that and you just feel safe. That, that's probably the key word here. You just feel safe. Everything is connected to the tarmac. You know if you hit your brakes, you're definitely coming to a stop. You're not getting thrown around. And it's just really reassuring when you're in traffic or on roads or you know, you're going down the hilly section, you know, if you're in the mountains and there's sharp corners and you're hitting hairpins, you just kind of have that faith that your D-Max is not going to be doing any drastic swaying and rolling and questionable driving. And that's safe for you and it's safe for everyone else on the road because the likelihood of you losing control is not really there. So I'm really impressed with that suspension. And the stability control and the brakes and all the systems that now go into these modern vehicles it really is incredible right let's talk about the engine under the bonnet this new three liter engine that isuzu have developed is absolutely phenomenal it's completely rebuilt they didn't take the old three liter and, and tune it up or whack on a bigger turbo they literally started from scratch and the end result is, is absolutely amazing. Not only is it, is it quieter, it's, it's more fuel efficient, and you've got power throughout the entire rev range. If I, if I put my foot down now, it just kicks and you're thrown into the back of your seat and before you know it, you're going far too fast and you need to tap off and hit the brakes. But that gives you an idea of just how powerful this, this new 3 liter engine is. Like I mentioned earlier, 140 kilowatts.
watts and 450 newton meters of torque and that's a heck of a lot of power for a double cab. One reason to opt for the, the 3 litre over the 1.9, no doubt the 1.9 is a good engine, but uh, obviously if you're a bit of a rev head and you like a bit more power under your foot, the 3 litre is going to be your, your natural go-to option. But if you're the kind of person that tows a lot, if you've got a, a boat that you tow a lot to Kariba, or if you've got a camp trailer that you tow out to the bush, something that's, that's quite heavy, you're going to tow that thing generally a lot easier with a 3 litre engine over the 1.9. I mean, we have towed things with the 1.9 and it does go quite well, but when it comes to going up a steep uphill climb or overtaking someone, that extra power from the 3 litre when you're towing something makes, makes a huge difference. Not to mention, it's a hell of a lot of fun. Right, one of the last features I want to talk to you about, and in my opinion it's one of the coolest features, is the infotainment system in the LSE. You come standard with a 9 inch screen, I mean that's massive. It's touch compatible and if you are an Apple iPhone enthusiast, you're going to be happy because it has Apple CarPlay connectivity, which is fantastic. If you're an Android user, unfortunately, I've got a little bit of bad news. Android Auto don't have a license for Zim yet, unfortunately. Hopefully that'll get changed in the near future. In the meantime, you can still pair your phone with the system through Bluetooth. You can listen to your music, your Spotify playlist, your podcasts. All that's still compatible with the system. You can still make hands-free calls, all those sort of things. But if you're an iPhone fan like myself, all you have to do is start this car up, connect to Apple CarPlay, and your world will change. Your phone basically becomes the screen. You can view your sat nav, whether you use Google Maps or Waze or any other navigation system that is compatible with Apple CarPlay. I've got Spotify that comes up by itself, <laughs> coincidentally ready to play my Tony Robbins podcast. But there's a lot of other things you can do. You can send WhatsApp messages. You can get Siri to read out your calendar for the day. You can ask what the weather's like. Everything you can do with your iPhone, you can basically do now with your Apple CarPlay connectivity on the LSE. Obviously with certain safety features in mind, there's certain, certain things that you can't input with your hands as you're driving. You can only do it or use certain settings or change settings when the car is stationary. So they have taken safety into account there too. Right folks, there you have it. A nice little comparison between the 1.9 litre and the 3 litre D-Max. Namely the LS spec versus the LS E spec. They're both fantastic new cars built by Isuzu. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking I'm a little bit biased because I work for Isuzu. I kind of need to say that. <laughs> Look, I've owned plenty of cars in the past. I've owned Toyotas, I've owned Fords, I've even owned a Range Rover. This car, these new Isuzu D-Maxes are game changers in the Bucky industry. Isuzu have really lifted their game. This new 7th gen edition of the D-Max is really amazing. If you're keen to look at one, or come down, take one for a test drive. If you're keen to talk to one of our sales consultants, Come see us at Auto World in Chisapiti in Harare. Coincidentally, if you are further south of Harare in the Bulawayo area, we do have a dealership down there. So look us up, www.autoworld.co.zw. We're on Facebook, we're on Instagram. There's lots of content coming out. Stay tuned for new videos and come see us for a brand new Isuzu.